Today I'm going to take you through a little comparison video that's going to be especially relevant for those of you who really struggle on the greens. I'm going to be comparing this, the Odyssey Stroke Lab Triple Track 10 the putter I have here. Uh, the Triple Track line of putters came out at the start of 2020 and as you can see, you know, this has been designed to really help those of you who struggle on the greens with your alignment try and find the centre of the face a wee bit more often and just hold some more putts and it can be married up with the triple track golf balls so we've got the combination there these came out at the start of 2019 VRC soft so now get them on the chrome soft model so that's Callaway's offering uh, Odyssey's offering is the triple track uh, method of helping you on the greens and next up we have the TaylorMade Spider X with its true path alignment system now this uh, can now be married up with the new PIX golf balls as you can see place it there it marries up nicely with this optically engineered sightline so I'm going to compare both of these putters both of these balls the combinations um, of the two let you know which one maybe I'm leaning towards and just try and give you a good idea of why these combinations are going to be really great options for those of you who just have a horrid time on the green so before I run into everything though, if you're new to our YouTube channel, please hit that subscribe button below, give us a thumbs up if you enjoy this video, and if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you. Let's get started with this triple track putter. As I said, released at the beginning of this year, this 10 model, it's a high MOI design. It's gonna help with stability, try and give you a little bit more forgiveness. Uh, we also have a micro hinge star insert. So this Odyssey insert is gonna help just good forward roll impact to get the ball rolling quicker help you on the greens it's also going to give a relatively soft feel uh, as is the case with all of Odyssey's putters now you have the stroke lab shaft it takes weight out of the middle puts it in the each end of the putter to try and help you with your stroke make it more consistent make the pace of it better make it make you deliver the club head square at the golf ball so just try and help you on the greens help your putting but the big thing we're talking about today is these three lines. Now, you'd be forgiven for thinking that these lines are simply just painted on, you know, just, I uh, will just draw them on anywhere. Um, but actually, Callaway used the same visual technology when that's used when landing airplanes on aircraft carriers. It's called Vernier Hyperacuity. What that means, I'm not too sure, but that's what they're saying this technology is based on. Uh, now, of course, we first saw it in this ERC soft golf ball, um, and once it's married up with this, it's just, it's a fantastic way of making sure that your alignment is spot on, making sure that you're pointing this putter at your target line, exactly where you want it to go. And it's gonna, it's just, it's going to help you. There's actually quite a cool story. The R&D department, once this golf ball came out, the putter R&D department said, let's just grab a putter and draw some lines on it. Let's try and marry up. And they said, that is absolutely brilliant. It makes it so easy. Uh, so then they went away and did some more research and development and came up with this new line of putters. So it matches up perfectly with the golf ball, as you can see. Um, and yeah, to be honest, it's so simple. It's such a simple design uh, method, but it's so effective. Uh, for me, you know, it's almost like cheating. Uh, it feels like that, you know, it's almost like this is a training aid that you shouldn't be allowed to use whilst playing golf. So, you know, very simple uh, to look at, but uh, you might think this is very easy, but it's just so effective. It's such a great technology uh, that I think is going to be a big help for a lot of people when on the putting green. Next up, we have the TaylorMade Spider X, and this has proven very popular uh, over the last season or so. Plenty of tour pros putting this thing in the bag. Roy McIlroy, Dustin Johnson, plenty of others, uh, you know, the next generation of the Spider Putter. A little bit more compact, but still that high MOI design, designed to give you a lot of forgiveness. Uh, we've got the pure roll insert that's been, you know, it's been a stalwart on tour for a number of years now. Again, giving you great forward roll, a nice feel at uh, impact. But the big thing we're talking about today is this optically engineered sight line, TaylorMade's True Path Alignment System. That's what they're naming it. Now, this was designed uh, to try and combat golfers' most common problems, poor alignment and missing the centre of the putter face. TaylorMade's research found that, you know, more than 50% of putts were going towards the toe side. So this was designed to try and get you to hit the centre of the putter face and to make sure that you're lining your golf ball, uh, you're lining your putter up with where you want your golf ball to start to try and help you hold more putts. That's the name of the game. It can now be married up with TP5 picks. This is the new edition uh, that's now available in the UK. It was designed in conjunction with Ricky Fowler. He had a big hand in the design of this and it can now be married up with this putter as you can see here. So the TP5 logo, it marries up nicely with the singular black line and then the orange sections of 
uh, the wee pictures that we've got here, uh, it marries up nicely with the outer edges of this alignment system. So that is TaylorMade's way of trying to get you helping your alignment, both the ball and putter combo, the true path alignment system. Uh, but this ball, you know, it's also got the wee added benefit of uh, just giving you a little bit more visual feedback uh, with your short game. Um, but that's it, give you feedback on the kind of putts you're hitting, let you know how good you've struck them and also just improve your alignment and just try and help you hold some more putts. So that's enough talking, let's actually hit some putts and see which one I prefer. The look of, see which one I think might help me the best, just give you some feedback on how they're performing. So first off I'll get started with triple track and when you place this thing down behind the wall, I said it earlier, it's almost like cheating, um, it's just so easy to align your golf ball. Yes, you still need to make sure you're on the right line, which I think I am just about. Greens are a bit bumpy this time of year still. But, you know, it's just, it's it's ridiculously easy. You can't go wrong because if you're too far that way, you know instantly if you're too far that way. Again, you know instantly if you're a wee bit too high, a wee bit too, it just it allows you to match that putter head up almost just every time perfectly. There you go, I'm with the lines. Now I just need to try and make a good putt make a good stroke so you know didn't hit it that's my fault there's still plenty of room for pilot error but we'll go again and again just line it up I think the line was good just give it a wee bit more welly yeah there we go one in and I could see immediately once I'd hit the putt that those lines were rolling end over end so I know that I've hit a good putt and because I had it lined up correctly I hit the right pace it went in the hole, happy days and of course the stroke lab shaft in this putt again it's going to help you with your tempo, with your stroke try and help you find the centre of the putter face a wee bit more often now I think the one thing to note with this putter that stands out is that a lot of golfers, maybe traditionalists I think they'll probably struggle when they first put this putter down behind the ball because it is, it's, it's a big white stripe down the middle the back of the putter with blue and red lines, you know, it hits, hits out there. There's no getting around the fact that you can see everything that this, you know, it's popping. Um, I think some traditionalists might struggle with that. They might just prefer the more classic look of a putter, but high MOI design, you know, stroke lap shaft, easy alignment. Really, if you want something that's gonna help you hold more putts, this could be the ticket for you. Didn't quite hip again, but we about the heel, but again, you know, not the worst putt in the world. Let's move on to the Spider X. Um, again, now this is, compared to the Stroke Lab 10, this is a noticeably smaller head. That's one of the big things with this Spider X, is they wanted it to look a bit more compact. Something that Roy McElroy commented on when it came out, he really loved the smaller shape of this putter. Um, in terms of alignment, you know, it's great. Um, that TP5 logo just matching up nicely with my intended target line. And the orange sections of the wee, the wee logos is on the edge of that true path alignment system. And yeah, you know, again, really easy to line up. It's just on me to hit a good putt. Just about. You know, the greens are bumpy, it's still, Still probably late winter, you could call it. I'll give myself the benefit of the doubt on these, but again, really easy to line up. I think, for me personally, if you just think, my God, I just don't know what I'm doing with a putter in my hand, it's so difficult, your alignment feels off, your stroke feels off, I think, personally, you probably prefer the triple track putter, just because it's a wee bit just seems a wee bit more straightforward those big lines you can't miss it whereas with the spider x again really easy part to use very easy to line but i think just in terms of how straightforward it is with a triple track putter it will probably be the one for those of you who really struggle because it just feels like it will give you a bit more confidence uh, especially again it's a bit of a larger head um in that one but i think you know two great systems but if you're really struggling for confidence, maybe the triple track might be the best one for you. There you go. Not too bad. All right for pace, just a wee bit out to the right. Okay, last one. Let's try and hold one. Let's make it fair. 
let's make it one all. Um, but yeah, just two really great systems for those of you who really have a horrid time on the greens. See, now that was a pure putt. I could see the logos rolling in, but that, that true path system just staying nice and straight. Um, so I could tell that was a good putt, that was going to go in if I decided to hit the bloody thing. But two really good systems there. Um, for me personally, I'm having a hard time choosing which one I would go for. Uh, I think if, you know, if you're really struggling on the greens, it's just, it's your worst nightmare. As I say, I think the triple track would probably be the best option for you. I think, however, if you're not, you know, you're not at your wit's end, you're not really, you know, you think, yeah, no, I'm not great at putting, but, you know, I hold my fair share every now and then. I think that maybe the Spider X might be better for you because it's just a wee bit more compact. It's, I think the system, again, you know, it's really effective, uh, but you might prefer the look of this putt or the aesthetics. I also like the slightly firmer feel that the Spider X gives. Uh, I think that's something I'm keen on. I like a firmer feeling putter. Certainly that Michael Hinge star insert is very soft. Um, but you know, uh, what one would I choose? I think for me personally, I would choose the tailor-made system. I would choose the clear path alignment. I think it just, for me personally, uh, marrying up this putter with that golf ball, the wee system they've got, I think that would probably be the best for me. However, I think maybe more of you would get more from the triple track system, uh, both the putter and ball combination. So, you know, it's really, you know, you're splitting hairs when it comes to which one is better. They're both fantastic, both bif different ways of doing the same thing, pretty much. So it's about trying both out for yourself. Uh, when you can get the chance, you know, go down to a shop, go down to your local pro shop, get get them to give you a triple track ball and a triple track putter, get a TP5 uh, PEX golf ball and also a Spider X, this clear path alignment system. Marry them up, see if you are noticing a difference immediately, see if you're noticing a difference maybe after a few putts or maybe you take them out in the golf course and see how you get on. So I think two fantastic systems there, worth checking out for yourself. If you struggle on the greens, then either one of these could be your saviour. Now, if you have any questions on either of these putters or the golf balls or the triple track or true path alignment, any questions, just leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you've enjoyed this video, hit that like button and thank you very much for watching.